Hello everyone, today we will be solving question number 32 from the 2019 question paper. The question is, match the metalloproteins with their respective functions. The metalloproteins given are ferritin, rubridoxin, cobalamin and carbonic anhydrase. And the functions given are electron transfer, acid-base catalysis, metal storage and methyl storage. So let's first look into ferritin. Ferritin is a metal storage protein. It stores iron. Uh, ferritin is the largest metal st uh, iron storage protein in human body. It has 24 subunits and ferritin can store about 4500 Fe3 in this. Uh, Iron enters as Fe2 plus inside ferritin and then it gets oxidized to Fe3 plus. And whenever required, this Fe3, uh, this uh, iron is used for various functions in various biological functions inside the body. So, ferritin is a metal storage protein. The metal which it stores is iron. So we know that ferritin is metal storage. The function of this is metal storage. Next, moving on to the next metalloprotein which is given is rubridoxin. So rubridoxin is an iron sulfur protein. Uh, iron sulfur protein, this is the simplest iron sulfur protein with one iron. We, den we often denote it as Fe1 and S0. So why S0? Because there are iron sulfur proteins which have inorganic sulfur. So for ferridoxin, which is also an iron sulfur protein, ferridoxins, they have both sulfur group from cysteine, S from cysteine, as well as inorganic sulfur so if inorganic sulfur is present we write it uh, write it as two or something so for one of the example of peridoxin is fe2s2 where fe is coordinated to two cysteine residues and there are two inorganic sulfurs which are bridged between two iron and again, it is coordinated to two system residues. So this one we denote as Fe2S2. In this case, there is one iron for rubidoxin. There is one iron, and this is coordinated with four sulfur from four system residues. That's why we call these as iron sulfur protein. And these iron sulfur proteins function is electron transfer. So now we know that rubridoxin, the function of this is electron transfer. Okay. Now moving on to the next metal of protein, which is cobalamin, also called vitamin B12. This is the only vitamin which has a metal. We can see that there is a cobalt center present in this metalloprotein and there is a corin ring. So this corin ring has four nitrogen. This cobalt is coordinated to four nitrogen from this corin ring and this here, this R can be 5 g oxy adenosyl CH3, OH or CN. So one of the function of this methyl cobalamin, methyl cobalamin means when R is equal to CH3, is the transfer of methyl group for the transfer homocysteine to methionine. Okay, so methyl cobalamin CO3 plus transfers its methyl group to homocysteine to generate methionine and regenerate the enzyme bound cobalamin CO1 cofactor. So, in the presence of this methyl cobalamin, 
homocysteine can be used to generate methionine. So one of the functions of cobalt amine is methyl transfer. This is the reference for the paper in which uh, they showed that methyl cobalamin functions for methyl group transfer. So now coming, uh, uh, okay, the next methyl protein which is given is carbonic anhydrase. So in carbonic anhydrase, the metal which is present is zinc in plus 2 oxidation state. It is coordinated to 3 nitrogen from 3 histidine residues. And 1 OH or H2O. So, the function of carbonic anhydrase is hydration of carbon dioxide. CO2 plus H2O in presence of carbonic anhydrase can give HCO3 minus and H plus, and it can also do the reverse reaction that is, from HCO3 minus plus H plus, it can give CO2 and H2O back. So, uh, since here we are, we can see that CO2 and water is giving this bicarbonate and H plus. So, it is an acid base type of reaction. So, therefore, carbonic anhydrase function is acid base catalysis type of reaction. So, now coming back to the question, we know that ferritin is metal storage protein. Rubridoxin function is electron transfer. Cobalamin is used for methyl transfer. And carbonic anhydrase is used for acid base catalysis. So, ferritin, option number 3, that is P should be 3. These two are cancelled. Then Q2, rubridoxin, electron transfer. This is not the option. And here Q is 1. So, electron transfer, this is correct. This is correct. R cobalamin 4 and carbonic hydrase S acid base catalysis. So S2. Therefore, option number B is the correct option for question number 32. To know more about this topic, please refer to the lecture series on bioinorganic chemistry by Professor Deb by Professor Debashish Rai from Department of Chemistry, IIT Kharagpur. The link for the lecture series is given in here. Please go ahead and watch the video. Thank you.